Mr. Miss Dalton, it is common knowledge you have been cast into this world without fortune or prospects. It is my desire to have you as my wife. I am greatly honored by your offer, but I cannot accept. This offer will not be extended a second time. Third, actually. Out of my way, idiot geese! My dearest Selina, will you come visit me in London? I promise you will be well entertained. I need your assistance. There is a gentleman, Mr. Malcolm. He humiliated me. No. I then found out he had a list. You have a list of qualifications for a bride. I would love for Mr. Malcolm to receive the comeuppance he deserves. Plus, it could be rather fun. If we present you as the perfect woman, then he discovers he does not meet the requirements on your list. That would be a perfect sort of poetic justice. Mr. Malcolm, there's someone I want to introduce you to, Miss Selina Dalton. I'm very pleased to make your acquaintance. Perhaps you might join me for a tour of the picture gallery. Most certainly have a reputation. Is that the famous Mr. Malcolm? Do you know him? And do you believe this description of me? He was very impressed by her wit and humor. I must be nearsighted. May I assist? Selina, it is working. Why did you come to London, Miss Dalton? Because I was lonely. I was lonely too before you came. Your list is a shield. You do not want to give your heart to a woman unworthy. It gives us hope, and hope is a good thing. Perhaps I am mistaken in thinking hope a useless thing. You're being blinded by his intelligent conversation and devastatingly handsome good looks. <clears throat> what? You thought to humiliate Malcolm, and you end up presenting him with the perfect wife, and that must sting. Wish me luck, old boy. I don't think you'll make it. It is time to show Malcolm your list. I do not think Mr. Malcolm is the man you think he is. Seems you have been deceiving me from the beginning. Love cannot be planned so carefully. It will stir things up a bit. That is part of its charm.